What is up everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed and in today's video we're going to be talking about three chemicals that are going to make you a ton more money in your pressure washing business. In this video we're going to be listening to a snippet from a podcast that I did with Cody on all the chemicals that you need in order to start a pressure washing business. In this specific video he breaks down three chemicals that can make you a ton more money as well as how to sell them on site. He gives specific verbiage that you guys can use whenever you're on site to sell these services and why you can add these smaller things on to create higher tickets for yourself. And as you guys know, if you could add like 100 to $200 per ticket that you're doing and you're doing like 100 to 200 jobs a year, you can make a ton more money. So in this video, Cody's going to be breaking down the chemicals that you need, the services you could be able to provide. But if you're interested in starting a pressure washing business and learning about how to clean every surface on a residential job site, the chemicals, how to mix them, equipment, property protection, as well as on-site job walkthroughs from setup to breakdown, check the first link in the comment section and the description. That is going to be to the how to wash course. The second link is going to be to all the chemicals that Cody's going to be talking about in this video. And the third link is if you guys want to watch this podcast in its entirety and hear about all the chemicals you need and all the different things that me and Cody talked about, check out those links in the comment section description. But without further ado, let's roll the clip. This is what I teach in the class, guys. We've got over a thousand customers with our equipment and say, look, you don't have to do these other services. You can just stick to the organics and you'll make enough money right there. But if you're targeting those high end customers and you want to please that homeowner with that $2 million house or $10 million mansion, he's going to want all that stuff clean, not just the organics. And also just for us, I like to differentiate myself from my competitors, right? We got the Chuck in the truck guy. Well, how do I be not that? How do I look professional and be professional? One of the ways is to use these specialty chems and be able to address these oddball things on a house. Now, remember we said bleach is for organics, but then you've got these other little niche things outside of that, and they can actually be a ton of extra money uh, if you can do them. So here's my list, um, gutter guard, dynamite degreaser, and rust rescue. So we'll talk about these for a second, just in no particular order, but this is one that uh, a good rust remover. So you're gonna have rusty things on people's houses and they're gonna want that stuff clean You've got to have a rust removal product to do that with. Rust, the other big one, is degreasing pretty much every driveway in the country. It's got an oil stain, every patio from a grill. Degreasing is a big one. And then my last of my big three is the gutter guard. Uh, so the tiger striping on gutters, right? You get those vertical lines on the face of the gutter. That's a big deal. And you, if you're only going to do three of these, I would highly recommend the rust and the gutter and the degreasing stuff because those are just the common common things that you're going to see on you know if you go do 10 jobs you're probably going to see that on seven or eight of those jobs so you want to be able to tackle those as add-on services and that it's kind of like going to a fancy steakhouse right you get the steak but then you can get lobster mac you can get loaded mashed potatoes you can get these extra bougie sides over here and they're all priced individually market priced and that's how that restaurant is making money. It's also how the restaurant is boxing us as the customer into a box. And if we want to get outside of that box, we got to pay money. Sometimes the customers just think they, because you're there, you're going to do everything on their house. You're going to wash their dog. You're going to clean the inside of the grill, right? All these just insane requests. But if you'll structure it right, not only does it allow you to make more money with these Kims, but it also creates barriers for your customers and it funnels them the way you want to go without it feeling icky and weird if you got to say well i i you know different chemical i got to use for that it's sort of a justification for the cleaning process and you making that upsell hopefully that makes sense absolutely does and this is extremely important for anybody who's looking to start a business because it's one thing to wash house driveway roof but when you can add on you know stain removal like the rust stain like gutter brightening and then um oil stains i mean you can up your average ticket price substantially. So Cody, can you kind of speak to like, if you were to add a, a gutter cleaning, right? Or a gutter brightening, that would be what? Like a $200 upsell. Can you kind of talk to the prices of these upsells and how much more money you can make on site with these? Yeah, so national average pricing on something like gutter brightening is a dollar to a dollar 50 per linear foot. So if you think about how many linear feet around the perimeter of a, an average house, it's uh, it, it can add up. So let's say the house wash is $399, right? You're a $400 house wash. That's a good house wash. And it's an easy one, right? And we're going to add, I may not hit them for that whole amount. I, I'll usually do it cheaper than what the national average is because of the area that we're in. So I'll probably add on the gutter brightening for say $125. Now, the cool thing about that is the customer's already mentally prepared and accepted at $400. So we're upselling something that's got 
a smaller ticket price, right? It would be it would be hard to upsell a guy that's ready to spend a hundred dollars, and you're, now you're asking him to spend seven hundred dollars. We're going the other way. We're going the right way. We got him on the hook for the big ticket item, the house wash or the roof or whatever, and we're going to tack on that gutter brightening. We're going to tack on that rust. In, in my house, is a, I'm looking at the back of my house right here. I would not care me as a, a homeowner. If the guy said, yeah, I'm wash your house, but there's, you know, you got that little rust stain back there. We can get that for 75 bucks while we're there. Those are my key upsell words while we are here. You're only going to do this for this special price. You know, it's a little bit of limited time offer. And it's, it's true. I'm not coming back out here next Tuesday and doing the rust stain for you. I'm going to do it while we're on the job site. We're going to do it while we're here. And not only are you going to get the organics, but you're going to get these other things taken care of as well. And that's a big deal for the customer. They just want the house clean. As long as you're in front of that that right customer, right? These people that have disposable income, they don't care if it's four hundred dollars or seven fifty, right? It's the same thing to them, basically. It's in the same realm. And you can't go six thousand dollars, but there's there's a few hundred bucks there that most of these type of clients really they could care less about. They just want their house to look good when you leave. We're selling them the big item. And we're going to add these smaller a la carte items to it. And most people are going to at least spring for one of those, right? And the other good thing is if they don't, they can't complain at the back end of the job that you didn't do X, Y, or Z. And you say, well, duh, we talked about that. It's in the quote, right? We got the scope of work right here. Here's what you picked. I offered you this. You declined it. So you're, you're kind of creating, there's a bunch of reasons to do this beyond the obvious one, which is the extra money. Uh, but the final thing I was hitting on there was, these things are usually small area, little bitty rust stain, you know, a little bitty oil stain in the driveway, a little, little gutter brightening, pretty, pretty simple gutter ain't but that tall. So you don't have a big thing to manage. You've got a small, very easy to see, very easy to tackle project that you're adding on to the big project. Um, and it's just, it's quick gutter guard here. I don't know how much it is a case. I don't buy my own stuff. Where is it right there? That one you're looking at just over a hundred bucks probably. But that jug can probably make you six hundred dollars in profit, or you know, even more if you're in a, a really good area. So you're you're taking that little additive and you're going to expand that out into a bunch of revenue. Generally, you do have to inform the customer. A lot of customers will think that you know, you washing the driveway, the concrete automatically is going to be beautiful. It's like you know, your truck has been leaking here for a year and a half. Like we, right. it's going to be an upcharge. And so, as Cody mentioned, mentioning that. Uh, the chemicals that are being used are outside of the typical scope of work is another is another key feature there. Um, so, Cody, I completely agree, though. If you're able to up your average ticket price with some of these little small add-ons, even 100 200 bucks, you can imagine how that would compound over 50 jobs, right? Yeah, a lot of money.